Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about enthalpy. So to introduce the concept of enthalpy, suppose you're going camping and it's really cold and dark outside and so you decide to build yourself a campfire to stay warm. Well, we could calculate the internal energy change of this campfire burning uh, by simply adding together the amount of heat that is transferred and the amount that, of work that is done between the system and surroundings. But if you're building a campfire, the whole purpose is to stay warm. In other words, you don't really care so much about the work that that system is doing on its surroundings. You care much more about the heat. You care about that heat that's, that that campfire is giving off to keep you warm. And so that's what enthalpy is all about. It's all about heat. There's really no work involved when it comes to enthalpy. It's all about the heat. And so a couple of main ideas before I define the word enthalpy um, are that, well, first of all, constant pressure conditions are very common. And so ultimately what we're going to find out is that enthalpy is actually the heat absorbed or given off by a system under conditions of constant pressure. So in other words, any system that is open to the atmosphere is at constant pressure. That atmospheric pressure is constant. Well, it, it does sort of fluctuate over time, but it only fluctuates by a little bit. And so for all intents and purposes, you can consider any reaction vessel that's open to the atmosphere um, taking place under a constant pressure uh, condition. And furthermore, like we mentioned earlier, work is often unimportant. And so, like I said, enthalpy is a term that is useful because it tells us only the heat, not the work, and it's under conditions of constant pressure, which, like I said, are very, very common. And so let's go ahead and get to the definition of enthalpy. So enthalpy, which has the symbol capital H, go figure, is defined as the sum of the internal energy and the product of pressure and volume of a system. And so in terms of symbols, it looks kind of like this, where we have the enthalpy H is going to be the internal energy E plus the product of PV, pressure and volume. So you might be asking yourself, well, how the heck does this equate to the heat that's given off at constant pressure? Well, let's examine this equation a little bit more closely and see if we can't simplify it down uh, to a way that's um, a little bit more uh, easy to measure. So again, we have this H equals E plus PV. Well, since internal energy, pressure, and volume are all state functions, meaning the value of internal energy, pressure, and volume, all of those properties, the values of those depend only on the current state of the system, not how the system arrived at that state, that means that enthalpy is also going to be a state function. And remember, when you're calculating the change of a state function, it's simply going to be the final value minus the initial value. And the symbol that tells us final minus initial is the Greek capital delta. And so if we want the change in enthalpy, that's going to be given by this equation over here, where we have delta H, the change in enthalpy, equals delta E, the internal energy change, plus P delta V, the pressure times the change in volume. And notice that that P term doesn't have a delta symbol on it because we're assuming that we have a constant pressure situation here. So we have delta H equals delta E plus P delta V. And we already know a couple of expressions for delta E and for P delta V. For instance, we know that delta E is going to be equal to Q plus W. And so we can take that expression Q plus W and substitute it in for that delta E. And we also know when we talked about pressure volume work that work is going to be equal to minus P delta V. And so if we want an expression for P delta V it's simply going to be minus W. So we get this new equation over here where we have delta H equals Q plus W minus W. W minus W is going to cancel out giving us that delta H is simply going to be equal to Q. And we give it a subscript of P, indicating that we are uh, having a, an enthalpy change under conditions of constant pressure. And so we see now that delta H, or the change in enthalpy, is nothing more than the heat that is either absorbed by the system or released by the system into the surroundings under conditions of constant pressure. Okay, so I think that is all I have for you today. I hope this was useful. On uh, the next video, we're going to talk about endothermic and exothermic processes. So I can't wait to do that for you. And all right, that is it. So peace.